And given the fact that this race was so popular, why do you think the voter turnout was so poor? What, what is going on in District 1? I think um, Saturdays in spring make it kind of difficult. There are a lot of other things going on in town today. Um, Saturday, I think, just is a strange day that people, on a Tuesday or whatever, people are out already, they're working, they'll, they can stop by before or after work. But Saturday, it's real easy to just say, yeah, I don't need to. Yeah. And I hope that people weren't apathetic because they figure there's going to be a runoff, and so why vote? Because just let the initial vote decide it, and then in the runoff, they'll get more excited. Renee, are you a District 1 voter? Yes, and a business owner as well. Oh, and a business owner. So tell me, Renee, what did you think about the campaign? Uh, well... Crisis or just in general? Just in general. I mean, you can speak to somebody specific if you wish. I just, I just hope that they continue revitalizing downtown. They continue cleaning it up. Uh, continue giving us maybe some breaks for small business owners since we do uh, uphill and uh, how can I say revitalize the neighborhood downtown, especially off of McCullough 35. Is that where your business is yeah, located? It's, it's, it's 1207 McCullough. So the mayor is doing a lot of work downtown. Um, do you feel that uh, the District 1 office has uh, not been supportive in the past, or do you, are you looking for continued support? Uh, I think continued support. So whoever gets into office, I just hope that they continue that support. And especially with the expansion of the Little Walk and uh, revitalizing Broadway and uh, just creating more uh, opportunities for people to come downtown, especially to live and work and uh, socialize would be amazing. There are a lot of hot topic issues that are really on the minds of the neighborhood associations and the people in District 1. Um, an issue that comes up over and over and over is animal control and stray dogs in the neighborhoods. And I mean, that is one that just doesn't stop. Every neighborhood association has a story about it that comes up over and over. And what about the mayor's SA 2020 vision? How do you see that affecting District 1? Oh, I think that's exciting for District 1 because I think most of that involves District 1. District 1 is the cultural, the business, the, the center of the city in, in so many ways, um, you know, metaphorically and actually. We whereas we just had I only had two elections on my on my ballot, but uh, I made sure to get out and vote early, and uh, I hope more people in San Antonio had. So we definitely got to do a lot more work on voter turnout. But uh, yeah, the voter turnout was pretty dismal, even in District One, which had such a good race. Yeah. What do you think we need to do to improve voter turnout? Yeah, I think we need to do a lot more work on voter turnout and education, um, getting people more informed about the uh, city elections, particularly these off-year elections. I think we need to do a much better job um, of bringing people out. Do you think it made a difference that the mayor's race was, uh, that the mayor was so heavily favored and maybe people didn't come out for the mayor's race? I do think that the more attention that's drawn citywide it makes a bigger difference on turnout. Um, but I think just in general, we just got to do a better job with younger people and non-traditional voters and just informing them that these races matter as well. And if you were to pick one issue that you think is most important for the city going forward, what would that be? Well, I'm a, a big proponent of making sure we uh, do a good job on education, uh, promoting uh, education for our schools, um, and of course, um, the, the other issue that's crucial for San Antonio is how we're going to bring up our economic development and bring jobs to San, to San Antonio. Great. Well, I thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Sure. Thank you very much.